just didn't make sense to me. And I kept seeing all these very fearful ads on social media saying, you're not going to lose your job to AI. You're going to lose your job to someone who knows AI. And I'm like, bleh, bleh. I don't, like it was just so salesy, right? I'm not about that. I'm, I'm about authenticity. So it's odd that actually AI, artificial intelligence, brought me to a more authentic place in my life. So this is where my journey begins. My journey begins about six months ago, maybe a little over now, seven months ago. I just started playing. I just downloaded an app on my phone and started talking to it. And that's when I started getting curious. So uses algorithms to make predictions. We've all been dealing with algorithms for a long time, right? You know, you say something and all of a sudden it's in your, it's in your feed. You're like, I really need a pair of snowshoes. And then all of a sudden snowshoes right there. It's amazing, right? Scary and amazing. And it's going to feed us information online based off of our preferences. Personally, I like that. I sustainability. The reason I say sustainability is the amount of carbon footprint and power it takes to power the plants that build this technology, NVIDIA, it gets a lot of water. They need the, the cooling of these. There's so much energy being generated. It's using a lot of water. Certain words that are overly used in AI, they always say dive, del, demystify in a big way. So when you start reading emails and you see dive, del, demystify, you know it's AI. So I teach people how to be a little less AI-like and a little bit more like them, but also buy back their time. So you gotta teach it how to talk like you. And then you say to it, remember how I'm talking. Make sure that you go home and you download the chat, the top two, OpenAI, ChatGPT, and Microsoft Copilot on your phone, in your app, and just start talking to it. 